So you want to know how to rake tap. Neat. First of all, it's important to know what rake tapping accomplishes. Rake tapping in its base form is really only efficient for trills, and it reduces the overall physical speed required for a section. It can take a section where you have to tap 18 times per second like Monster Trill, and turn it into something where you only have to tap 9 times per second, which is much better from an efficiency perspective. Now, basic rake tapping can be done in two directions. Some people prefer raking towards their body and upwards like I do, and some prefer raking towards the ground and downwards like Abby does. You can do it either way you feel comfortable. The most efficient way of getting it to work is to keep your fingers relaxed, that way they gracefully slide on the fret rather than getting stuck on the edge. It's also better to have Vaseline or some form of silicone safe lubricant so you don't blister your fingers. When first starting out, separate your index finger and middle finger a bit, relax them, and lightly slide up or down against the edge of the desired fret like shown on screen. The more you get used to it, the more you can start adding in more fingers. Four finger rake tapping does work, though it's rather difficult, three finger is most efficient. When you have the tapping hand motion down, add in a single fret on your left hand and alt tap between the rakes, and that's it, that's the full technique. This method is really good for higher notes per second sections, but it's limited in the fact that it's stuck to a single fret. Once you're comfortable with raking, you can disjoint your finger's position to register it across multiple notes, like shown on screen. This is great for sections with non-consistently placed notes like Bridge from Mercury City, or ah from Chip Trash. The fastest form of rake tapping is what Abby dubbed meme raking, which cuts out the left hand's involvement entirely and rakes in both directions. It's been used to hit 144 notes per second trills using a glove and a Wii Les Paul, so it's definitely efficient. It's a method that I'm not personally that good at, but have been improving at, so I know it's something you can practice and work on. The general method is to use either the tips of your fingernails or the tips of three of your fingers to lightly slide up and down across the fret at a very specific angle. The looser your fingers and the more wrist rotation, the better. Make sure you're not too close to the frets or you'll hit the guitar, and make sure you're not too far or it will register much less. It's something you have to practice quite a bit. I've linked some songs in the description that'll be good for practicing this sort of thing. I hope this helps. Have a day. Yeah, I don't know either. Subscribe!